Hello, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Good you? <laughs> She's getting close to Halloween. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good, Good afternoon. Sake. It's still morning, I think. Oh, yeah, just just still morning. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Um, it's getting a bit nippy, is it? It is. It was this morning. Yeah, so I need to get the uh, that diesel stove connected, so let's get cracking on with that. It's about time. Um, what else am I doing? Ah, yes, uh, boat safety inspection. Uh, the rules have changed a little bit, so once the boat becomes usable for its purpose, I think the words are, you need a boat safety certificate, which, of course, we're using the boat. So, Chris is going to come into that for me. In the meantime, I have to find a new home for that battery because that's just sat on the swim at the back. I know for a fact that isn't going to pass. So, I need to crack on with that as well. Get 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 all our ducks in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like our boat safety on there. So, a bit of a weight off my mind then for four years. I can crack on with other things. Um, I don't think there should be much that fails, but uh, I shouldn't be. But uh, I know there's a few things I need to look at. So, I'm going to get cracking on with that. Get that diesel stove up and running. What are you doing? Sunday dinner. Cooking me Sunday dinner. What have I got for dinner? Steak. Fillet. I'm worth Only it. Only the best. I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a few jobs we need to get cracking on with in there. So, uh, no, I've I'm just uh, done the normal womanly chores. Oh, I do chores as well. Washing, cleaning, tidying, dusting. Oh, well. All that. All that. <laughs> All that. Okay, you can keep me uh, supplied with coffee and biscuits. No biscuits. No biscuits. Yeah, so um, just to keep you up to date, uh, we booked a well-earned break in uh, Fort Aventura. <coughs> we have. Which we're looking forward to, uh, mid-November. Definitely need a rest. Um, so, yeah. I think it's crusty to warm enough. <laughs> I think it will be. should be okay in the Canaries. So we booked that just it as, a, as a break. We've been on all year, so let's have a break. Um, you also probably know that we're off to Spain in the van on Boxing Day. In the meantime, um, yeah, this year, the, as we said before, the boats took a bit of a, no, not this year. In the summertime, the boats took a little bit of a backward step, a, not backward step, a pause. Um, <laughs> we've, just, uh, we've just rested a bit. Well, I don't think we've even done that. We've had a, quite a few weddings, a few birthdays, a few things like that. And, and it's, it's just, just been, been a manic year. It's been a manic year. We've also tried to have some hour time, haven't we? So. Yeah. Well, we've enjoyed the summer as best we can. Yeah, we've tried to we? enjoy the summer a little bit. So well, we've, we've had a weekend off. I think we've had many of them, to be honest. But yes, yeah, going to crack on with some jobs today anyway. But uh, yeah, I was going to say, we, we are getting things ready for our winter trip. Um, oh, there you are. Um, our winter trip in Spain, because we're heading that on the ferry out on Boxing Day. So um, the, the boat, we just want to get it usable and warm for the winter, don't we, to make yeah. sure everything's okay, which it should be. And then, um, then we'll crack on again in the in the spring, really, on the boat. But I'm hoping uh, my work tails off a little bit, <laughs> which is it's shown no signs of that, has it? No, not at the moment. So much electrical and boat work to do. Um, I haven't had so much energy to concentrate on hours either. So it would normally be tailing off by now, but it's still full on. So anyway, we'll see. Enough of you. Enough of you. I'm talking. What? So what? What the? I don't. <laughs> what the? What the? L. <laughs> heck. Um, uh, what the heck? Yeah. Um, it is morning. I've only had coffee. Nothing else. Uh, so I'm gonna crack on with that at the back as well. Uh, I might see if I can uh, throw some wires in for the A to B as well, the A to B charger, and I need to reroute our mains cable as well because it's a bit close to the exhaust for my liking, and probably the BSS examiner's liking as well. And I've got to fit in screw in the uh, shore power socket as well because that's just sat there at the moment so a few little things to do at the back get our boat ready for build safety yeah i'm stop jabbering now and crack on with some work is that all right i think you should i think i bloody should as well so <laughs> <laughs> right let's go in the back see what's going on waffle 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 <laughs> right back in the engine way bay where i belong i need to say way then what's going on anyway uh, i said way then but i meant to right um so I might just climb in a little bit. The battery and isolator was sat there. Um, and I was gonna fix it there, but it's it's all a bit too cramped where the chlorifier is. Um, so I'm actually gonna move it onto the other swim where there's tons of space. So I've just disconnected the battery, 
None of the cables are long enough. I mean, I could recable it if I needed to, but that would be a yeah, lot better. A battery tray will be fine as long as it's clamped into that tray. It doesn't have to be a box. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Keep that open. All right, let's see if I've got some uh, boarding stuff. So I'm going to see if I can make a bit of a box with a lip around it to sit the, the battery in. Uh, and then I've got, um, I bought a clamp, I'll show you that in a second. So here's a battery tray I've bought. Um, it's not big enough for the battery because I actually upgraded our battery. But I don't really want it for that tray so much. I wanted it for the, the clamps that sit on the top. So I'm going to use those and make my own tray. Well, I've just got a cut a rough uh, square rectangle around there. I'm going to screw that to that base plate, then cut all that around. <coughs> and put some angle in uh, for the locations of those clamps and then bond that down that should actually do the job pretty nicely actually no one thing um because we've left i've left the boat a little bit not left the boat but you know haven't worked quite so full on it's, it's really hard to get going again you know you sort of lose that you lose that momentum really Especially when everything's sort of sort of working well enough. So it is quite an effort to get going again, I must admit. But I need that boat safety, so stop you whinging and let's get on with it. So I'm gonna use this slip a bit uh, where the battery's gonna sit on top. This is more textured. So a better grip for the um, the adhesive. So I want that to be on the bottom. So that needs to be just. I'm just going to counter some of these a little bit. I can't find my countersinking bit. So just. Okay, so uh, here are the brackets I've just made from some angle aluminium. Uh, gonna screw them to the side there. What they'll do, they'll clamp the battery down because the sides aren't above halfway up the battery. I need to hold the battery down. So um, that, clamp, that kit I bought, I basically bought for these and the, uh, the top clamp thing. All right, let's find some screws. Distinctly. Well, that paint's a bit OTT for that box, but because I've got it, I'll use it. Nice That's right. Making yourself useful. I can't smell my dinner. You haven't cooked that yet, have I? <laughs> Unless you're hungry, you haven't cooked it. No, I'm fine. Didn't have breakfast till late. It ain't like a joint, is it? Nah. trying to get that battery train today but it is the right thing to paint it so uh fans are going to do that and then uh 
I'll probably drop it in later in the week. I've just got to uh, put a fuse on the charger. We've got a 240 um, smart charger from Victron. Um, they don't come with a fuse and that'll fail boat safety as well. So I'm just gonna go and do that. So all that bit is all ready to go. And it's probably only about half hour work to put up, put, bond that down and whenever, when, uh, when that paint's all dry. Welcome back in the engine bay. <laughs> uh, right, there's the tray. So I'm gonna bomb that down, CT1, my favorite stuff. Uh, but also, uh, when I get a chance, I'm gonna get some uh, steel angle brackets that will uh, we can tag weld to the swim, and that'll then really secure it going forward. But just trying to get this done so we can get that boat safety done. This, this should hold it pretty well. Um, yeah, just get through that, then I'll get some angle, angle iron as well, angle steel, and uh, get them welded in properly. But this should do the job for now, so it's looking okay. All I've got to do is lift that battery into that tray, which is, I'm fed up with lifting batteries. But yeah, here it goes. Right, that's ready for the battery. Um, I think I'm gonna put the DC under it first and then put the battery on top. That seems about the easiest thing to do to me. That's in, and about square to make it look nice, eh? Uh, it's got to go around the hidden back there, and and the charger as well. So where's that clamp? Okay, it doesn't look too bad actually, I'm quite pleased with that, however that looks. That's how I'm going to get some clamps welded to the swim here in the long term. But that, that's certainly located in a place now, which is much better. So I'll well, go and get those uh, insulating caps and uh, see if I can wrap this job up. That should now go over there, nice and neat to cover that. There's the negative done, look. So I'll just do the positive. Right, there's a job I've been thinking about doing for ages, needed to do for ages. Uh, once that DFC has gone off, it'll be fine. And then I'm gonna get some angle just to weld a couple of supports in there for future. But yeah, it's not looking too bad in here now. And it's uh, left all this space open on the end of the chlorophyll as well. Right. Fixing that in has been a job I should have done a long time ago. 
but again boat safety that has to be secure so that's done uh, need to push that up that rubbish right went over the channel we and they've got none of the uh, gas isolation valve labels battery isolation and fuel cut off in uh, silver chrome stainless whatever uh, they've only got brass ones so I need to order some of those been unfortunate I'm trying to get this wrapped up so I can get Chris booked in to come and do me BSS oh, I guess you guys have noticed winter's on its way right I'm just going to connect this uh, diesel tank up it's nearly done really it's just the fitting the compression fitting the reducer that I need to put in into that valve get some diesel in it and let's get the the, um, the stove primed up See, it is starting to drop a bit cool um, yeah, all I've got to really do is PTFE these two. Get them screwed into that valve. I'm starting to think about, yeah, wind, winter is coming, time to, time to get the fire on. Uh, that way round. Always, always, I know there's ways of doing this. Oops, I know there's ways of figuring out which way you wrap this. But I always struggle with that. I, I know it's got to be wrapped with the threads. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just want to get this piped up so we can get some warmth on the boat. The evenings are getting a little bit chilly. It's quite cool this morning, but uh, not too bad. Okay, push my shirt on. Uh, I really ought to take the tank out to be fair. I really should take the tank out, but on the toy end, I will put it in, I think. And I'm just looking for that olive. Uh, right, so I'm just going to check this fire out now I've um, piped all this in. Uh, <laughs> get down on my knees. So lighting the uh, bubble stove. Uh, what we use. So the way I, 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 I open the uh, diesel feed valve, I have already had it open for a while so it should be primed. 
uh, take the decorative coals out and a cap of methylated spirits. Two. So right now the diesel's going into the stove, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll throw a match in. Watch your hair. Oh, that didn't work very well. Oh, there we go. So that catches. Yeah, so you try to mean catch that just down there yeah so that's just burning with the blue flame I'm gonna turn this down to a minimum now because there's there's probably quite a pool of diesel in there and uh, we let that go Would appear that's a success. Fire's coming through nicely now. Light um, flames starting to turn blue as, as it warms up and starts to get more efficient. You can see that down there, lovely. Lovely, lovely. just in time for winter. Not that we're gonna be here for that much of it, or some of it. Right, that's it for one day. Just had dinner. Oh, it's warmer in here though, eh? Oh, very warm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. one thing I noticed is that uh, we need to get that canopy on the front as well at some point. I'm, we, well, we see how that is, work in progress, because the wind blows through those vents quite quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. I think, it's okay now, but uh, I think when it's colder, yeah, it'll be quite cool. Yeah. It's quite cool sitting there. I need to go out then. I suppose. It's uh, to it should come in, actually, because heat rises, so it goes out the top. So it will help it go out the top, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, that's the battery done. Diesel's all piped in, so I'm ready for boat safety, apart from the labels, uh, which are on order. But I've just spoke to Chris, and he said if they're not here, he can do the bulk of the exam and then come back when I've got the labels down, done. So you need them for the fuel cutoff. Um, di uh, di what is it? Fuel cutoff, um, battery isolation, and the gas locker. So the three of them, I've just ordered them. So they should be here. But anyway, that's us for this one. I've fallen asleep now. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was it. That's Franz input, yeah. <laughs> I've fallen asleep too. Yeah, so that's it. We've got a little bit done. So, um, yeah, uh, first video back, really. We've got our boat safety books in for Thursday, so... Get an update on that one. We, we need that. That's something we, we had to do. So, give you an update on that when, uh, when we see you next time. But uh, until then... A uh, bit of an oddball video this one, but like I say, getting ready for winter, getting ready for our boat safety, and we'll see how that goes. Right, okay, guys, see you next time. See you soon. See you soon. Bye.